Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here, and I'm bringing you guys my second FIFA 13 video. We are just playing BVB versus AC Milan, or Borussia Dortmund versus the AC Milan out of the Serie A, and we are playing as Dortmund today, guys, and we got a pretty good game for you. Um, you know, not too many goals. I think I ended up scoring two goals throughout this whole entire game. Uh, not, not a fan playing against the computer, guys. Don't really like it too much. Um, beautiful first touch right there. Beautiful first goal. Here we're going to come come in with Lewandowski and just finesse the ball or just excuse me Marco Ro Marco Royce beautiful finesse shot right into the side of the net thought that was Lewandowski uh, but Lewandowski is the striker for BVB he is an absolute animal um, I actually used him in FIFA 12 ultimate team most recently and he is actually very good um, surprisingly for his rating so I really enjoyed using him and uh, Borussia Dortmund surprisingly is very good guys so that's probably why they're featured in this demo um, most of you guys would suspect expect Bayern Munich to win the Bundesliga but actually Dortmund um, has come pretty close to winning it or has won it in the past few years um, so they're actually a very good team they ended up losing Kagawa this year to uh, Manchester United in the transfer window but other than that um, you know they got pretty good I believe they picked up some transfers of their own but don't mark me on those words um, so yeah guys they're actually a really good team I uh, had a had a blast playing with them they're very good in the demo um, so yeah the demo guys does doesn't really have too much to offer um, you know just really head-to-head -head, some warm-up skill games when you're waiting for games and other than that it just really tells you about the game in itself um, a lot of people have been saying that skill games are on the demo but I can't seem where to find them um, I go to the actual skill game things and it gives me nothing of that sort so um, it doesn't tell me that there's skill games and unfortunately we get stuffed by Abi Adi right there but um, unfortunately, I cannot find any of the skill games. I would love to play them. I would love to show you guys them. I would love to try to get my scores much better on them. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot find them. Or So I will look for them. Or I'm just looking for something that might not exist whatsoever. So we will have to see um, what's going on there. But... Nonetheless, guys, I just want to talk about today how, you know, the difference in paces between FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, at least so far from what I can see with my eyes and what type of game modes that we are in. Now, I did not play head-to-head -head too much in FIFA 12. Um, you know, I played a couple friends online. I would, you know, just call them up and be like, hey, you guys want to play a game? Um, and then we'd ended up, we ended up playing Xbox Live for about a game or two. Um, very slow-paced. I mostly use Chelsea, but... um. You know, so I wasn't a big fan of that, never really was. That's when I really didn't get into FIFA. The thing that broke my FIFA seal was Ultimate Team. Uh, I was just with a couple friends one day, and you know what? Actually, I'm going to save that story for later. We will do another story, um, how I got started in FIFA Ultimate Team. At least, I started in FIFA 12, guys. There was Ultimate Team in 10 and 11, I believe. And there's Subotic with the second goal of the game. Uh, so, from here on in, guys, you guys are just going to be watching some highlights. Um, just how the game plays, how it flows, and everything like that. And I'll just be talking over it and uh, letting you guys know what I think and stuff like that. But, I'll save that story for another day, guys. But, what I want to talk about was the pace difference between FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. Now, in all honesty, in my personal opinion, I like the graphics in FIFA 12 much better. It seemed more like a video game. Um, these guys seem very floppy, very lanky. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm trying to describe here, but these guys don't feel right to me. Um, but they they look right and they play right. I don't know I, I don't know how to explain describe it they look right and they play right but they just don't feel right um they look more sloppy um they look more flimsy if that makes any sense but fifa 12 was just less uh you know less real graphics if that makes any sense whatsoever so i don't really know how to describe it or explain it but so far i like the graphics in that better obviously once this comes out and this is all i'm playing I will be getting much used to this, and uh, you know, then we will go from there, and I'm sure I will love the graphics. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. The graphics are amazing. It's just something different right now, um, but once I get used to it, everything will be good. So... Um, you know, so back to the pace. Um, this game moves a lot slower than uh, FIFA 12 does. Now, I can't judge for Ultimate Team, but from head-to-head, -head, when I did play the little bit, that even moved a little faster than this, and uh, this game moves a lot slower. It seems like pace is not much of a factor in this game, which is actually a pretty good thing. I'm almost happy about that. Um, as you guys see, or I played with Juventus, so you guys couldn't see it. I, I 
you know, I've been playing with Juventus a little bit, and Giovinco obviously is very pacey. Five-star skiller out of Juventus in the Serie A, and uh, he does not blow by too many defenders. I mean, I got outrun by, uh, I was playing against BVB, I believe, with um, Juventus, and I actually got outrun by Subotic as Giovinco, and I, at least in Ultimate Team, I know Subotic has about 70 pace. Um, that's pretty good for a center back, but... But Giovinco has 93 pace. That's a 23 pace difference. So I'm not entirely sure where that um, where that meets in the middle there between ultimate team and between um, head to head. So I'm just a little bit confused. So, but other than that, pace doesn't really make a difference, which is much better to me. Um, I truly enjoy that aspect of it because you know a lot of people would want to through ball and pace. We'll have to see come ultimate team time what people are really going to do. Um, I cannot tell you what they're going to do. I have changed my complete play style, as you guys have known. If you watched my other FIFA 13 video, and that was almost a beautiful ball. If only, um, you know, pitch stack had a little bit more pace on him. That would have been beautiful. I mean, it was a beautiful ball nonetheless, but uh, might have been a goal there. But anyway, so, you know, in FIFA 12, I started off using being almost like a pace or the 1-2 through ball, 4-3-1-2 formation. Those three, you know, the center forward and the two strikers up top, you know, maneuvering the ball around. And I've completely switched my play style out of that. So that's what you guys are really going to have to do for FIFA 13, I believe. It's all going to be about slow buildups. I brought this up in the last video, but I do really think it's evident in this. Um, you know, as you guys see here, I just tried to pace pie the defender right there, and I couldn't do it. Granted, it is the computer, but granted, pace does not have as much of a factor, especially with the first touch control. So this game does play slower, guys. You just you guys are just going to have to adjust your settings and adjust your, you know, what you're used to almost um, in order to just get acclimated to this game itself. So it will take some time, guys, because, um, you know, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get used to it. It's very hard not to use pace. Um, it's not about not using pace. It's about using pace at the right time and place. Um, when you need those speed bursts, definitely use it. Um, you know, when you're passing it, obviously don't use it because of the first touch control. But uh, this game, nonetheless, is definitely much slower than FIFA 12. But then that I'm just speaking towards head to head. So usually ultimate team is a faster pace game. That's why pace has a factor right there. Um, so that's why, and unfortunately, Blazikowski just pulled up on a hamstring um, in head-to-head -head offline. That was really weird. Almost could have had probably another goal there. But we are coming to the 90th minute, guys, almost wrapping up with this commentary and this gameplay. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the FIFA 13 demo. I'm hoping that you guys have downloaded it. It is free. Might as well go and try it. See if you like the game out. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, even though this is a slower-paced game, and it is pretty difficult, to be honest, but it's just because it's a change. Once you're used to it, it'll be much easier. Uh, but it's a great game nonetheless. I am super stoked about the 925 release date. We got about 12 days, and then I'm just going absolutely ham bone on videos, guys. Coming out with a bunch of new series you guys are never going to forget about, and you guys are going to love them. But thank you guys for watching so much. Appreciate all the continued support. 20 likes, that would be amazing. I will be out with a FIFA 12 video this afternoon. But thank you guys for watching. Definitely appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later.